everyone, it's Kathy Zilski for Simon Says Stamp back with another installment of Easy with me, CZ. Today I'm going to make a cute little holiday tag that also serves as a checklist for things to do during the holidays. It's easy to do, it's cute, and well, without further ado, let's get into it. Here's a look at the main stamp set that I want to use today, and this is the CZ Design Noted Holiday. I designed all of these little items to be an add-on to the CZ Design Noted set. So the whole idea behind this is that you make a little checklist and you have check boxes and you can have little titles. And so what I wanted to do was do a holiday checklist. But today I wanna to show you how you can take this stamp, the holiday items, and turn it into a quick tag. So I'm gonna take the little list out and I'm just going to pop it right here onto some Nina Classic Crest. Wait, this is the Solar White 110 pound and we're just going to stamp one little friend using some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Any black ink will do. This is just a nice inky black. So we'll ink up our list and bring it down. And transfer. And there we have our list. Now you could do this in any color you like. I'm going to keep it pretty simple here and we'll just keep it in the black. All right, next I'm going to line my tag up right on the edge and the top. I'm going to tape this into place. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that through my die cut machine to get a nice clean cut. Of course, you could cut this by hand too. I mean, you could slice off little areas and cut the tops and make your own tag. I'm just using a tag die because, well, I have one. Let me run that through my die cut machine. All right, it should be the perfect size. So now I have, let's pop that through here, a nice little tag that has the stamped image. Now, if you can see a little black there, I could also just take some scissors. Well, I could actually just trim that off really quickly with my paper trimmer and we will move on. Just wanna show you really quick, put my tagger right in here and just get that little extra bit of black off. Just like that. I'm gonna take a little scrap of Simon Says Stamp Schoolhouse Red and I think I'll just say, this is my Christmas to-do list. Just pop that here. Actually, I could do two at a time, and that way, if one doesn't stamp as well as the other, well, then you just use the one that works. So, pop these onto the cardstock, pick up, and I'm gonna prime these just a little because they're brand new. I'm gonna take my Simon Says Stamp Anti-Static Powder Tool just to powder up the cardstock so that when I stamp with my clear embossing ink, my embossing powder only sticks to where this is. And this is the clear embossing ink from Simon Says Stamp. Ink that up and bring it down and press to transfer. Oh, yep, that looks great. All right, let me get my white embossing powder. I'm going to use some Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Powder. Sprinkle here, sprinkle here, let that just sit for a second, and tap off. If there's any powder that I want to brush away, I can just use one of my angled shader brushes, which are very nice for cleaning up any powder that may have stuck. And now I'll get my heat tool warmed up using uh, my Protect the Manny clothespin to keep my fingers safe, and we'll melt the powder. All right, I will grab the coordinating dies. There are only a few dies from this set, and they are designed to cut out the greetings. So let me get those popped on, and I'll cut these out and decide which one I'm going to use. Both turned out great. I think I'm going to go with my little holiday checklist. And then all I'm going to do, I mean, I can, you can hand stamp this really quickly, but you know, sometimes I feel like have misty will travel, right? So you kind of figure out the placement. I mean, it can be straight. I kind of think it's cute at a little angle. 
and then all you're going to do is add whatever elements you want on your checklist. All right, so I'm going to pick a few, pop them down, and we'll stamp them. All right, so play Christmas music. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am going to use a smaller ink cube for this. So I just have a little Gina K Designs cube because this is a really delicate little typeset. See that? Oh, so cute. And then you just keep making your list. Put you down here, right? Got to do that. And we can do two at a time. You can actually do more if you just skip the lines, but we'll just stamp them out like that. Boop. Lovely. All right, a few more in place and So cute. All right, two more here to finish out my tag list. Wish for snow and gaze at the tree. So that's the basics for the tag. I have one more fun thing you can do with this. One thing I like to do to finish off my tags is take some pattern paper to back on to the tag. That way, especially with a tag like this, it gives you a place to write a little note on and it adds a little pop of Christmas color. This is from Lawn Fawn. And so all I'm going to do, I guess I'll put my tape runner on my sturdier tag. If you are terrible at lining things up, use a score buddy or maybe even your Misty tool, anything basically with a corner that you can press things into. And I just find this is a really quick way to get things lined up. Now I may have to cut a little off of that because I did shorten my tag a bit, but now I have this on the front with the pattern paper on the back. I'm going to take the backers off. I just used some Simon Sis stamp foam squares, th these are the thinner depth. So you get a little pop up, not too much. And then all we're gonna do, is just kind of put it through right there at a little angle, which I think is cute like that. Then I'll just run some black and white twine here, this baker's twine through. I am one of the, these people that likes to go in through the front of the tag, create my loop and go like that because then you get that nice little loop over in the front. Then of course I can tie this down any way I like. That's my finished tag project. I think this is a really fun idea to make a tag for a holiday package with some little festive ideas of things to do for the holidays. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, we'd love to have you and we'll see you back here with more crafty inspiration soon. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.